now let's move further right after word now we will simply say in here firebase the capital F firestore there we go dot instance we will create that instance right in here okay dot collection first let me import the library here we go with the cloud firestore dot dot import that so whenever it will be imported then it will also show you the suggestion there we go with the collection so as you guys can see right in here we simply create an instance to the firebase firestore and then we will create a collection a folder by the name users okay and then we will say dot doc okay there we go and with the specific uid now we will simply say dot set in which first in here semicolon take this down now in here as i tell you we create an instance to the firebase file store writing the collection that we just created by the name of user it's going to be there a folder by the name of user okay and then we say dot doc document with the specific uid and now right inside we will simply set and upload all of the details that the user will write in here like for example his name email phone number and location that company address so we're gonna upload that right inside firebase firestore right in the collection of a user that we are about to create right in the firestore so let's go and do that now in here first we will simply say in here id we're gonna upload that and we're gonna say underscore uid with the specific uid and then we will say name we will upload that it's gonna create id okay and it's gonna assign the specific uid for that current user and it will be right inside the firebase firestore right in the collection of a user as you guys can see right in here and then it will simply create the name okay and then it will simply assign the current name that the user will enter right in here let's say if i write in here my name then it's gonna assign that name to this name right in the firebase fire store and right in the collection of a user so let's move further now in here we will say underscore full name controller there we go you will say dot tax and right after we will say email we will upload that and it's gonna be email text controller dot text and right after we will say let's upload the user image so in here user image okay and then we will say image URL so there's gonna be that image URL okay and the image URL we are getting that right in here with the help of reference dot get download URL and we assign that right inside the URL okay so just don't get confused in that now let's move further in here we will say phone number you will create that right inside the firebase firestore right in the collection of a user in which we will get the phone number for that current user okay so there we go with the phone number controller that's fine right in here and we will say dot tax and let's move further now we will get the location we are left with that and it's going to be location controller dot tax we're going to upload that and right at end we will also say created at we will get the specific time okay so here we'll say time stamp there we go dot now 
is going to get the update tag and upload it to the Firebase Fire Show right in the collection of user as you guys can see right in here so I hope you guys can get the idea right in here what we just did right with the Firebase storage and also with the Firebase Fire Store so now right afterwards in here you will say navigator dot can pop so if there will be any loading dialog box if it can pop then simply add in if we will remove that with the help of navigator dot off contacts and if there will be no loading dialog box then right in else right in here we will say no all good right afterwards if it catch any error only in that case what we will do right in the sit state and we're gonna take this down from here and here we'll say underscore is loading there we go we will set this to false and what we will do right in here we will simply show the error dialog as a tell if there will be any kind of error so show error dialog is going to take the error we will convert it to dot to string and then we will provide the contacts all good and we have already created that class and that show error dialog let me show you that So right in the services folder, as you guys can see right in here, global methods dot dot. Open that and there we go with the show error dialog right in the class of global method. So let me close that now. Now right after in here, right in the sysstat, we will simply copy that from here. Copy it and down in here paste it it will simply set the is loading to false right after showing the error dialog we will set that to false now all the working for this method has been done already so now simply we will go down and call upon that method right in the sign in button there we go as you guys can see right in here that comment remove that and we will say or just press to the submit form on sign up call upon that right in here so whenever the user will press on this button it will simply submit the form on sign up and you guys already know about that we will simply test the app right in a while but first we will sum dispose the editing text controller and the focus node we will dispose that right in the dispose right in here so simply in here we will say full name controller that we just created before there we go with the suggestion just simply dispose it right in here dot dispose so all good now right after the email one there we go email tax controller dot dispose and right after let's have the password tax controller there we go dot dispose and also we will dispose that that this one and also the position cv focus node and we are left with the phone number controller so in here we will say now phone number controller there we go dispose and right after we will simply dispose the email focus node also we pause focus node 
and now the position CP there we go and right at last we will go with the phone number focus now so simply dispose that right in here so we are done now now what we will do we will simply go and just test the app and see the output and we have already called upon that right in here okay now just come here and port reload the app so there we go now let me go toward the sign up so in here click on it and in here first we will update the profile I'll go with this one let's crop it let's say this guy name is Ali and we will give the email Ali123 at the red gmail.com and here we move that and right at the red there we go it's just a fake email I just wrote in here just for the testing purposes and now I will give the password that's of the visibility and now I will give the phone number and let's say the company address is California taxes so as you guys can see right in here I have successfully updated the profile and also I write all of the details so now what we will do we will simply click on the sign up button there we go with the circular progress indicator and now if we go back to the firebase and check in there deal with that data like in the firebase storage let me show you right in the code so we will go towards the method that one okay in there so there we go with the firebase storage one it will simply store that image right in the firebase storage as you guys can see in here we create an instance okay right to the firebase storage and right in the folder of a user image that picture will be there we will just check that in a while and with the specific UID and the photo type will be JPG and then what we did we just simply get the download URL as I told you before and we assign it to the image URL so with this image URL we will simply what we will do right after we just create an instance as you guys can see right in here to the firebase file store right in the collection we create that folder user by the name of user so we simply set and upload the data for example their ID for that current user it will be their specific UID also the name we just created that and uploaded to the firebase file store and there is going to be their email their user image phone number location and created at now simply what we will do let's open the browser and we will check that right in the firebase so right in here search for firebase console okay and in here open that firebase console google and you guys already know we connected our app right to the firebase right in the beginning of the project so there we go with the iJobClone app okay open that and right in here what we will do we will open that build and go towards the authentication so there we go with the email ali123 at the gmail.com as we enter right in the app there we go so 
it's working totally fine and now what we will do we will simply go towards the firebase storage and we'll check there if the image is uploaded successfully or not so click in here on this build go towards the storage that one open that so there we go with the user images it's working totally fine and you guys can see that right in here open that and there we go with the image just click on that and you guys will notice there we go with the profile picture of the current user that we just uploaded a while ago okay and there we go with the image type jpg okay and everything is right in here now what we will do we will simply go towards the firestore database and in here we will check all of the detail like for example name and their uid as you guys can see right in here also in the firestore database it's working totally fine and you guys can notice that user folder right in the collection okay and there we go with the document okay now in here as you guys can notice there is that name Ali phone number as we enter right in the app in the emulator and there go with the user image location ID and their email and created ad everything is just right in here so we have successfully uploaded the data to the firebase and you guys can notice that now right in here I will simply show you that URL it will simply will be the user profile image just copy that and open the new tab and right in here paste the URL and there we go as you guys can see right in here so that is the image URL as I show you right in the app let us go back to where the Android studio and you guys can see right in here with the firebase firestore as i told you before right in the collection of a user and there we go all of the detail and also i show that right in the firebase firestore and right in the firebase storage right in the folder of user images there was that image as i show you before and also the download url okay so basically it's working totally fine and that's it for this video, right in the next video we will work further right from here.